This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, yet another drive pedal comparison for you today, largely concerned with this little pedal here. Uh, you've seen this a couple of times before. This is an SMJ tube drive pedal. These are only available from Richard's Guitars, um, the Gordon Smith dealership, and uh, you know they sell many other guitars, but I know them mainly as a Gordon Smith dealership. They're in the UK, and uh, they have their own range of pedals, as I say, under the SMJ Legend brand, and this is the tube drive pedal, which you would think with a name like that, it's it, it's got sort of something of a tube screamer vibe about it. But from the moment I first used that pedal, it was sent to me, by the way, by a very kind student of mine, chap called Ian, who just sent it to me as a little present. Um, from the the very f thank you, Ian. The, from the very first moment I uh, I tried that pedal, I thought, you know what, that has a very strong whiff of the Marshall Governor about it. Um, you know, it, it sort of matched my memory of what a governor pedal sounded like uh, back from, you know, back when I used to uh, occasionally use one. Uh, so I thought I'll have to get my hands on a governor pedal and do a bit of a comparison. And thanks to a very, another very, very kind chap, a viewer of this channel called Dave, um, I now have a governor pedal on loan. And this is one of the original ones from the late 80s. You can tell it's from that period because on the back it says battery operation. Use a PP3 or equivalent. Do you remember when those little small, um, those little square 9 volt batteries were called PP3s? It's not been the case for a while, has it? Anyway, so we've got a governor pedal. We've got this pedal that I think matches uh, or gets quite close to the sound of a governor and we're going to find out how um how they stack up now the thing that the governor pedal always had that it's kind of um the, the ace up its sleeve was it could essentially give any sort of amp a bit of a martial -y kind of tone so rather than sticking it into my usual blue guitar amp one on the um on the vintage setting which is already a very martial -y kind of tone i'm uh, i'm running it into the clean channel on that which is more of a kind of a uh, fendery kind of clean sound uh, basically uh, this kind of t this kind of sound so that is the sound that we are going to try and uh, get all marshalled up uh, coming up now, there is uh, a little bit of a solo where I do, it's a, just a 12 bar blues, where I do uh, one chorus of the blues using this pedal. Then I do another one using this pedal, so you'll hear how they stack up. And then I do two back to back with both pedals stacked. And oh dear me, that brought a smile to me face. Uh, have a listen, this is what it goes like.
See what I mean? That note at the end that just doesn't want to go away. Um, you know, kind of fantastic sound. So, um, conclusions. Yeah, perhaps. Um, you know, I was kind of misremembering the sound of the of the governor pedal and thinking this pedal kind of duplicated it. It doesn't, but it gets very very close. Still going into that sort of clean clean sort of fendery sounding amp that I've got. Uh, dialed in on the blue guitar amp one it did lend something of a very definite martial character character to it to my ears um you know and you know it's 20 quid i'll put a link to richard's guitars in the uh, in the description if you want to go and check one of these out um although if you see one jump on it because they're perpetually sold out because uh, these things are obviously just flying out the door for very good reason uh, by the way just a little bit of housekeeping that solo there there is a full tab in both guitar pro and pdf formats along with the clip of me playing it and the jam track i was using as well all of that is as usual up on my patreon page there's the address and the link is in the description three dollars or two pound 50 a month gets you access to all of these additional resources that come along with these youtube videos a massive massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which are also linked down in the description and that is pretty much it for today folks um hope you've enjoyed this little video this comparison i'm still blown away by uh, the sound of this pedal it's a 20 pound pedal and i'm sure just with a little bit of eq and kind of fiddling maybe with uh, i'm sure you could get these two pedals sounding identical 170 quid 20 quid you know it's it boggles the mind as they say but that is very much the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful and informative in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and a whole host of other things whatever crops up basically it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now